G'day mate and welcome back to Capture Industry with me, GD. Today, 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 today's episode. Today's episode, we're finally gonna start mass producing, mass producing microchips. We've been saving for a while. We've got a few things up and running. At the same time, we're probably gonna get some solar panels built because um with great microchips comes great power, comes great power responsibilities, comes, um, we need more power. We need more power. That's the bottom line. At the same time, as always, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for liking the video. Ah, uh, videos, videos. We're, we're, we're well into this series now. Also, I need to thank you guys to, uh, for subscribing to the channel. And I need to give a big shout out and a big thank you to those that are going above and beyond, those that are continuing to keep us ad free for 2022, those that are becoming YouTube members or Patreon supporters, getting early access to videos. And today, I need to, as always, I think a brand new member, brand new member who has at least chosen to get absolution from any guilt they may have for using ad blocker, and uh, that is a uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, Meijan Lord. Meijan Lord. I'm gonna go with Meijan Lord. I think I pronounced that correctly. I uh, think of becoming a YouTube member. And don't forget, membership starts off at just one dollar, and for that you get at least absolution from ad blocker. All right. Uh, so. With that out of the way, the first thing we need to do is we talk about animal feed. Well, it's empty. That's pretty much it. Um, medical. Medical has been upgraded. I have, um, believe it or not, I have cleaned up this spaghetti here. It is cleaner than it was. It doesn't look that much cleaner, but um, it's 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 definitely cleaner. Uh, also, I have uh, cleaned up the spaghetti over here and reconnected everything. Again, it doesn't look cleaner, but trust me, it actually is. It's, it's way better than it once was. All right. Medical is running. It's not running terribly well. We don't have enough poppy seeds. Um, if I see lots of blue things on the belts, that means we're running at full speed. We're not quite at full speed there yet, but we are getting there. I am continuing to upgrade farms to Greenhouse Mark II. More Greenhouse Mark IIs we get, the more food we get, the more food we get. Hopefully we stop having uh, animal feed being a shortage. Also, hopefully um, we, 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 we can um, get all our medical up and running. Uh, we do have plenty of medical currently, and we even have, well, some in the box occasionally. Uh, so we're at least meeting our demand. Also means uni-wise, we're now getting that extra 2.4. So it was, what, 1.6? So it's an extra, what's that, 0 0.8? 0 0.8 uni uh, from having medical too. Also means that when we get the flu, people are less likely to die off. On top of that, because we have more health overall, we also get a health bonus, don't forget. So that adds to the mix. Um, if I get rid of more air pollution, we get more uni as well. All right, uh, so that's number one. Number two is trash. Trash is um, just about full, uh, just about done. I have worked out I can put one more tile across the front, but that's about it so far. Um, there is a good chance we're going to start mixing trash in with our other dumping efforts. Uh, also, the grand poop machine. The grand poop machine is just about maxed out. We have 478. Uh, the grand poop machine processes 480 poop. So if I add another housing, I need to turn on the last of the grand poop machine, which we can always do, but I'm um, trying to put it off for as long as possible. All right, next up, we have the grand digging crew. The grand digging crew is still uh, continuing their way through. We do need to turn those on uh, just so we can use more chain storage. Basically, I don't really care about the moving the materials as fast as possible. What I care about is if this is full, i.e. this is full, the trucks have nowhere to dump, they actually drive off and they dump it themselves, which sort of works as it's reasonably close. I don't really mind. Obviously, I'd really like if they just dug right through the middle, but you know, they're choosing to um, continue to do this semicircle that they're doing, but we're getting there slowly. We're getting there slowly. Uh, also probably should have them. Oh. I hate that. Sometimes you open a GUI and the game just boinks for a second. All right, we need them to dig just a little bit further, a little bit further. We are slowly, as they're just, just cleaving out the back of the map. I don't know if we can actually put more docks out here. Probably will, which means I probably need to look at where we're going to end up finishing off the coastline at, which I probably should have done before I took all this rock and dumped it elsewhere. All right, uh, next up, we are dumping dirt in this little gap because uh, it seems like a pretty good plus place to put dirt we're not going to be digging this up ever again so we might as well put something soft in there rather than using the rock to get the the nice crisp coastlines that we so enjoy uh we are still filling in this so we can hopefully dig out the sand in the future I'm hoping this is far enough out. I honestly don't know. Uh, sand guy is digging sand. We've upgraded the sand box so he can put more sand in the sand box. And they are, again, just doing a great job. Just doing a great job. Uh, next, working our way around the map, we have a high supply of gold. 
which means I am going to turn off those guys. Uh, I have, I don't have an alert. I have an alert if you are greater than 75% full. If that fills up with gold, we will do something. As you can see, I've already put in the storage, but I'm trying to save construction parts. It's not working so far. All right, uh, next up we have, get rid of that, uh, get rid of that. We have three assemblers here with no recipe because I finished what uh, electronics three uh, were in there. Servers didn't output. Okay. I don't know why the servers didn't output. All right, if we click that, that should make those very expensive items disappear they did okay that works for me uh yes as these items are super expensive i'm choosing intentionally uh to make sure that they don't accidentally get deleted when we click some buttons uh because we need to remove this i've also emptied out all the connectors of the important things uh because yes i need to remove well uh all of that it's in our way because today's episode, today's episode, I want to get some microchips up and running. Um, I want to get a lot of microchips up and running. Uh, can I pause that? Yeah, we're going to... Uh, I, I don't know of a good way to clear this out. Uh, but I'll clear it. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I just need to clear everything out of the connectors. And then we can turn, yeah, we can turn all of you off. I can do the exact same trick. I need to wait for them to stop processing what they have currently. Where are we? Uh, scroll, 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 delete. Uh, more scrolling, more deleting, more deleting, and more deleting. Okay, that's cleared out the microchips that were on the belt. All right, what I want to do is I want to delete, well, I definitely want to delete that, 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 and those. Uh, I've got some replacement boxes up here just for them to store the crap in. We don't need that anymore. I don't need any of the belts hanging out the back. Uh, and they've all stopped spinning. Now, the items I click delete on are still in there. That's unfortunate. All right. Yes, if you delete a building, uh, what's in it generally disappears, which, you know, for most things you don't really care about, but um, for these electronics three, considering we've spent so long trying to get them, um, I don't really want to delete them. All right, uh, so we need to delete that as well. Okay, our plan, our plan for today's episode, we need to do a few things. Uh, first off, we have electronics two here. Um, I want to do two things. I want to take a microchip build, uh, a double microchip build. Um, if you missed this particular build, I covered it in my tutorial video uh, on microchips. Link is up in the top right and going to write about now. But we have plenty of teraflops because I have plenty of teraflops, and I, these guys don't use a lot of power. I want to whack that um, right about here. On top of that. I want to take some of the excess production we're going to have in the way of poly and turn it into two items. Uh, one is going to be a solar panel mono and the other one is going to be a solar cell. Yes, well, solar, solar, solar cell mono and a solar cell. Now, the reason I want to do this is if we bring this up, uh yes okay no uh if i bring this one up this is the brand new one this is the brand new one uh which is actually we need to probably do it this way all right it's a roundabout method i need to talk about and explain how these work all right solar panels two solar panels two uh solar panels mono very 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 good very very good uh more efficient 25 percent more energy and it does say it makes them they're, they're more expensive to produce and that is entirely correct uh actually can i have a i need an apples with apples comparison uh, you. Okay, to make eight solar cells, I need one glass, uh, no, one steel, four glass. To make the mono version, I need one steel, four glass. To make this version, I need 12 poly. To make this one, I need 12 wafers. Uh, the wafers, uh, every single wafer, cost me 18 poly. Uh, well, six wafers cost me 18 poly. As I need 12 of them, that is 36 uh, poly. This cost me 12 poly. So it's three times more expensive to make the um, the, 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 the mono cells. As for total output, uh, one and 
two. Uh, these guys on a cloudy day, because that's what it happens to be currently, we have 26 kilowatts. Uh, these guys put out 32 kilowatts. Basically, uh, every single time, every every single every single amount that this puts out, this puts out an extra eight kilowatts for the same amount. So we're, you know, 32 kilowatts and sunny. This would be 40 if it was sunny. But um, three times as expensive to build. So I'd love to build them. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to having both of these being built out of excess production. Only the excess production. Uh, can I put you there? I have no idea how we're going to get rid of that steel. Uh, just build. And uh, I have no idea how we're going to get rid of those electronics either. Come on, copy there uh build and set that to not that okay all right so my plan is i want to put these well i want to put down the microchips first and then i want to put uh these at the rear to chew up whatever's left over because obviously we've already had to as we've had to do with our original microchip build make our uh, silicon wafers so i already have silicon wafers ready to go into this machine and then should we have any more poly on top of that which I highly doubt, but should we, we'll make some solar cells. The other reason I want to make solar cells is, and the contracts, well, there is a contract to exchange solar cells for quartz. Um, don't get me wrong, for every piece of quartz, quartz I'm going to get, I'm going to have to use half of that to make the solar cells, but it's 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 a start it's a start it's a start uh so that's going to be the plan for today's episode which means i need to do a bunch of things uh first off this steel belt needs to get back out of my way secondly this poly belt needs to also get out of my way uh lastly this bridge needs to get out of my way uh this processing machine that was making way whoop no i actually want you to go yeah, uh, this wafer machine needs to go. And lastly, this pipe needs to go as well. So we're going to have to do a small cleanup, just to get ourselves started. And then we can start hooking things back in. Oh, that can also go. Uh, remove. Uh, also, because we are completely finished with uh, pirate ships, uh, it means that I don't have to worry if shit ends up in the shipyard anymore. We're just going to leave it there permanently. Uh, what works great for me. All right, what I want to do is I want to have a flat balancer. Uh, we're going to bring in our poly first, and it's going to go to here because uh, it needs to go into electronics too. Uh, build that, build that. Uh, same time, toggle direction on that. All right, so that's that plugged back in. Uh, next thing I'm going to need is water. We're going to need water to run our wafer machines, which we're going to be putting right about here somewhere. Uh, can I get you to come up and over the top, please? All right. Uh, oh, that was the wafer machine. I want to copy. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, I want silicon crystallizer. We're going to want a couple of these machines, but at the same time, I want to remove you because you're in my way. Uh, can I remove you? What are you trying to reach? Please don't. Yeah, no, please don't. Please don't. And definitely don't. At the same time, I'm trying to bleed out the system. It only has whatever chips it currently has. It's processing. It has whatever's water's in the pipe. I'll hook up more water if I need to. But yes, I'm trying to get it to clear out whatever's left over. All right. It helps if I build that balancer. All right, with belts and stuff removed, I want to put these here, I think. Uh, is there a better way of doing this? Nope, no matter what, they're going to touch. Okay. Because this output's far on one side, uh, trying to get the items out and join together on one belt is going to be awkward. All right. What I need to do is I need to slide these guys as far forward as I can. Yes. Okay. So we're going to bring through our water pipe. Uh, our water pipe needs to continue on to other projects. We'll just leave it hovering right there. Next up, we're going to take our silicon poly and plug it in there. Can I get a slower belt, please? Just save some materials. There, there, uh, there, uh, there. There and there next up we're gonna go for water pipe uh you're gonna have to do a wiggle and a wiggle and a wiggle and a 
a wiggle just because I can't put two connectors beside one another. And there's not quite enough room that I can bring it down flat and then take it sideways. So uh, we're just going to have to go with what uh, go with what flows. On top of that, uh, you make six apiece. We have six of them, which means my total output is going to be 36, which means just a Mark 1 belt will do. And again, we need to put in a bit of a wobble just because I have two two outputs beside one another and i cannot have two connectors joining because you know the game doesn't like it all right with that done that'll get our wafers up and running now don't forget these require a whole bunch of teraflops each but that's okay we have some spare teraflops we're going to build that yes all right next thing i need to do is get that out of my way get that out of my way and just that out of my way Okay, all right. Uh, I don't need all these running. In fact, I only need, let's go with just wood two. Yeah, two. Uh, also need to put back my bridge so trucks can get over. Uh, we're gonna put the bridge as close this way towards us as possible because, well, I still have more items I need to get under there. All right, I have a whole bunch of silicon wafers right here that I need to get rid of. Not sure how we'll do that, but we'll work that out. What, what, what? Why is this slack in the box? Why is it slagging the bucket? Or oh, the belt's maxed out. Okay. Well, fixes that. Uh, you may notice that I'm uni boosting a whole bunch of construction parts because I'm very, very sick of not being not having any construction part, construction parts. All right, with that done, the next thing we want to do is I want to get this microchip built. Now uh, this microchip build. Uh microchip build has two microchip builds very, very much tied together. Uh well, we'll be tied together as soon as we're done. Uh, we're going to roughly center that. Sure. High supply of servers, high supply of electronics. I don't care. You're fine. All right. We're going to roughly center that. Okay. So you have three inputs uh, and a whole bunch of belts that are missing. Hang on. Let's do... It's something about this build. It's fine when you build it, but if you copy and paste it, if you copy and paste it, uh, things tend to go missing. I don't know why. Uh, I think maybe the stilts are just too well compacted. Uh, all right. If it's not centered, I don't care anymore. Uh, we're going to... Oh, yeah, no, I've already fixed it. I'm, I don't care. We're going to build that. I'm going to build none of those pipes. And... Oh, none of those pipes. Okay, we're going to build all those belts, plus I'm going to build all of those belts. Uh, yeah, plus I'm going to build all of those belts, and I'm going to build all of those belts. Okay, that just leaves the machines not built. All right, whilst that happens, uh, we need to get three things into these microchips. Uh, same as we did before, we need to bring in plastic, copper, and gold. Okay, so logically, as gold is the furthest away, let's grab gold first. Gold needs to come off this T intersection. Come on. Uh, up to height two, yep. And then down around there, and just enough room for you to squeeze through. We're going to take you as close to glass as possible. I don't know. No, it doesn't help. Uh, yeah, I can't see myself getting another item through there. All right, we're going to take it over to... Let's stop right here. Uh, and then we'll build that. All right, with the belts in and done. First thing I need to do is I need to connect the left half to the right half. So we're going to have a belt there, uh, a belt there, and a belt there. Pretty sure they're all, or at least two of them, uh, knowing my luck, are going to be going the wrong direction. That's perfectly fine. On top of that, we have two lots of pipes. We have on the bottom is water, and on the top is acid. I'm going to take my water pipe uh, and wrap it around and plug it in this side. And I'm going to take my acid pipe. I know, it's a little bit crazy. Uh, at height two. Yeah. And bring it in. Ooh. Please don't do that. You were doing so well, Pipe. And then you went and buggered it up. Into there. Okay, which means you need to change direction, you need to change direction, and you need to change direction. Okay, so, uh, gold, gold, gold. Okay, it's not flowing because there's no connection on it. All right, I need to plug in uh, nothing into those. Thanks, trucks. 
This is a construction zone. We're doing things. All right, I need to plug in uh, copper into one of these and plastic in the other. It doesn't particularly matter the order. So as I already have plastic at height number two, we're going to plug plastic in there. Uh, copper, unfortunately, is at height number one because past JD didn't plan for future JD. Thanks, mate. And we're going to plug that in there. That's about as good as I can get it. Maybe I can improve... I don't know if that's better or worse. Whatever. It is what it is. All right. We're going to plug both of those two in. Uh, that should get things flowing. We can definitely see the top belt's going the wrong direction. The second belt's going the wrong direction. And third belt, if we press F11, we can zoom right the way in and go, yeah, third belt looks like, it looks like it's going the right way. All right. Last thing we're going to need is that gold belt, uh, which we're going to bring out to here before I bring it up. Uh, mainly because... I have no idea what else I might need to get around and through this corner. So if I leave myself a little bit of room, chance I can get something else through there. I'm going to plug you in there. Okay, build that. Next thing we're going to need is the water pipe. The water pipe that I left right here, which I'm pretty sure I just put a gold belt right in front of. I did, but that's okay because you can go underneath. And, oh. No. Height one, please. Yep, yeah, height one the whole way. And we're going to plug you in there okay that should get my water connection plugged in all right so we have water we have copper we have plastic we have gold uh we don't have our wafers all right so our wafers our wafers i want to do a couple of things with uh first thing is i want to balance it and that is because i want to choose where the wafers go that makes sense i hope that makes sense uh we we're gonna want to put some priorities on it so i want wafers to go into ooh. Past JD, present JD, current JD, you did a wonderful job. You left a bit of room so we can take wafers around this side rather than taking around the back of the machine. Oh, isn't that awesome? All right, so we're going to have wafers. We're going to go priority out, priority out. So we're going to take wafers into here and in here first. If they're not an option, we can then continue that up and we can take it over to solar panels, which we're going to make at the rear. Turns out I missed some pipes. Can I get both those pipes done, please? And both those pipes? Great. All right. Uh, let's get that part done as well. Uh, so that just leaves my acid and the actual machines being built. So acid. Acid, Um, conveniently, we are processing a lot of copper over here, which requires a lot of acid, which means I don't really have any spare acid because it's all accounted for, but I could probably make acid at the same place this is getting its acid from and then we can have acid to go with our acid so what i want to do is go to where we're making acid and take another one of these and jam it on the end it does mean we're gonna have to ha apply some pipe spaghetti but um, i'm pretty sure that ship sailed at this point uh nope let's do sulfur belt first so sulfur goes to there uh water pipe goes from there to there uh you definitely probably pass the point of having an upgrade. Uh, same time, we're going to take our acid. No, acid out to here. I'm going to take the acid that way. I'm going to remove that pipe. Uh, remove. Uh, we're going to toggle, toggle. Oops, uh, toggle. Yeah. Uh, upgrade. I'm going to remove that. Yeah. Um, oop. Not the whole lot. I just want to remove part of it. Uh, I want to remove that much. Okay, with those things done, uh, and clear. I did have all the assets sort of joining in here a little bit, and then processing from there onto, well, into a split. It was not a terribly good system, but it sort of worked. What I want to do is I want to change up for a better system, uh, where we have all the acid joined to one connector, uh, can I upgrade you as well? Oh. Uh, have all the acid joined together into one pipe. Uh, that's a mark two. That's a mark one. Okay. Can't have odd looking pipes. So we'll mark. Plug, plug that. You just did it. Fine. Run it backward. Uh, toggle direction. Uh, plug our acid in there, that goes off to glass, and then plug our bigger acid pipe into here, which is going to do copper. Uh, we need to make sure everything is facing in the left-hand direction, and then it's going to come up to here, and that'll give us all our acid into all our copper. But because we have one extra machine, it means I can steal 
off the end of this. Uh, or acid. Great. Uh, can I just get you to park right there? All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to remove that. Uh, plus, I want to remove everything between there and there. Because uh, we might as well tidy up some things at the same time. We're going to copy a bridge. And we're going to put a bridge. Let's go with there. Uh, we're going to take our copper. Uh, wrong slot. That slot. Uh, copper, which is the bottom belt. Which we're just going to take straight into there. We're going to take our... Can I remove there to there to there, please? Uh, remove and build and build. Uh, we're going to take our plastic. And you go to there. Uh, actually... Come on. Yep. Uh, plug the plastic in there. Finally, it's the last glass. Oh, there's a ramp right there. Yeah, dude, you're super stuck. Uh, glass, which we're going to bring under the bridge, and uh, height two, and plug it in on that side. Okay, so that is those done. Uh, also means my acid pipe, uh, where, oop. I don't know what else I need to maybe take under this bridge. So we're just going to take you under right there for the moment, and then we need to plug you into the top pipe. Top pipe is the acid pipe. With that done, we should have our requirements being our gold, plus also our copper and plastic, plus also our, yep, our water and our, our acid. You don't say you have water. Why do you say you have water? Oh, because the machine doesn't exist. Yes. Uh, plus we have our silicon wafers. All right. With that done, yes, we should be able to go from here to here, built, uh, plus here to here, built. Uh, at the same time, you have nothing in the process. Nothing, 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 and nothing. Great. Uh, which means I can scrap everything there. I can scrap everything there. I didn't have to build those boxes, which is great. I don't need that bridge anymore. I don't need that bridge anymore. And that freed up a whole bunch of construction parts and people. All right, so these guys should start processing. Yes, we can see you're processing. You'll get your input and your output in a second. And then we should be fine. Also means that construction part four message should go away because um, we just freed up a lot of construction parts. All right, next thing I need to do is I want to make those solar panels. So solar panels, uh, like I said, we've got two machines. Uh, they both need glass and steel. So glass and steel should be easy. We have glass right here. We're here, this side, that side, this side. So let's grab glass off this side. Uh, in fact, we can grab it right off the top of... I oh, know you line up perfectly. Of course you do. Uh, all right, can I shorten that acid pipe? Uh, from there, down to there. Alright, uh, glass, height two, yep. And. Okay, we should probably talk about this for just one second. We're gonna have microchips. Microchips gonna come out right here. Yeah, microchips. Now, microchips, we're going to be bringing out. And the intention is to process it on the right hand side. But actually, we will see. We will see. All right. I want to have these guys at tops. Okay. At tops, I'm expecting th three of these machines. No more. Uh, same for this one. I'm expecting three of these machines at the moment. We might add more of these ones in the future. All right. So let's grab glass from this side then. Uh, height three. And let's stop here. Oh, let's drag you out there. All right. So I need three of these machines. We need to have a five tile gap between, which should mean that I can put you there and we should be able to get from there Nope. Oh no, it's a seven tile gap. Uh, what? Oh, I said height three. I meant height two. 
explains so much. Height two, out to there. Uh, out to there. Cool. Uh, back to this. Cool. You get to ground level right there. All right. And that's step number one. Step number two is steel. Steel we left all the way back here. So we'll grab steel. Uh, we'll bring you up to height two. Height three, it turns out. Because the amount of crap that's in the way. Uh, and you know what? We're going to run you up and over the top of the glass belt. Uh, when we get to the, this point, we're going to drop you down to height number one. Uh, actually, right behind that belt. Drop you down to height number one, duck you underneath, and we will bring you over to about there. Uh, do I want you... I need a storage container. There's a box. A box. Uh, we're going to be putting the box here. Does that sort of line up with the other ones? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, let's move you guys over a couple of tiles. Move you there. Move you there. There, I said. All right, so uh, that's two of the three inputs. The third input of, is, of course, that balancer. It is, of course, the wafers. The wafers, which we're going to bring up, and we're going to intentionally run that directly under the other belts. And this should be our three, our one, two, three combo. So one, two, come on, three. All right, gosh. Uh, we need to plug you into the output. We need to plug a connecting belt in so you are perfect. And then if you're perfect, I should be able to do uh, that and that. Okay, with that done, that is those three. On top of that, we wanted that poly. Poly, that extra poly, uh, which we left all the way back here. We want to take any extra poly I have, uh, bring it all the way through this mess, uh, up and over gold. Can I go up earlier? Oh, I still want to do funny business. Oh, okay. Up tight too, then. I don't mind. Uh, in that case, go to. Oh. Come on, belts. No. You had it, Belt. You had it. You had it. Trying to have a wonderful curve. Uh, height two. H how did you think that's what I wanted? Go back. Copy from there. Height. Armored on. Height two. F. F. Uh, no. Back to ground level. Yeah. All right. So now I have the perfect curve that I want in the wrong direction. So now we'll toggle the direction. Right. And then I'll have you connect back up. And we'll might as well run at height two till we get to here. Curve. Oh, no. Go around all that mess. Because you ultimately need to come down to ground level and then pop out just uh, one, two, three, four, five. So if I add another machine, it would be there. Pop out over here. Great, perfect, excellent. Uh, have first machine there, second machine there, third machine there. Copy that mess, paste that mess on there. That has all the connectors, including a spare one. Oh, I don't need that bit sticking out of the rear. Yep, okay. Uh, toggle direction. Toggle direction. Ooh. Now that should be fine. Yeah, because I'm going to do all the electronics three here, I hope. Uh, we need to continue this belt uh, out to I don't know where. And... No, I'm, I'm going to put... I'm going to put both solar panels on this side. I think that's the wise move. Uh, I need to delete that and delete that. Yeah, because that way potentially I've got extra room should I need to do something. All right, toggle direction and toggle direction. Okay, 
With that done, we should now be able to copy that and paste that there and paste that there and paste that there. And we should have at least four of those guys. Okay. You, we're going to pull out off your front, uh, out to that. No, no. I'll intentionally pull off there just in case and plug that in there. All right. With all that done, sheesh. We should be able to get those belts done. We should be able to get those belts done. We should be able to get all of those done. That done. That done. That done. And that done. Sure. Whatever you wear on the end, you can also get done. All right. Finally. Finally. Yeah, that's steel. That's glass. This should give me solar panels. All right. Yeah, we are making six and twelve. Uh, you guys need three apiece. And let me see input. Oh. Huh? Oh, really? I plugged the belts in wrong. I plugged the belts in wrong. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so it turns out plastic's on the top. Oh, plastic or copper's on the top. And gold's on the bottom. I got my order of operations around the wrong way. It's fine. Right, I'm going to remove that. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to remove the gold belt uh, from there all the way to there. Bop, bop. Okay, so we just need to remove products. Remove. Uh, stop removal. No, it. It's the plastic. The plastic's around the wrong way. Okay. All right. Gold from here. Uh, at height one. So I don't care what what mess you come up with. You can plug into there. All right. Copper you can go back into height number two, and then plastic can go up you had it height three see it's even looks better now all right with that done uh it's gonna mean i'm gonna have to do a whole lot of remove products uh remove products remove products remove products although i don't think the trucks can get into a lot of this so it's gonna probably mean that i need to rebuild all the belts uh to get them uh, well, because I just don't have access. Uh, yep. Remove products. Yeah, I don't think the trucks have access. All right. In the meantime, uh, solar, 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 solar. We, oh, no. Trucks definitely have some access. Yeah, they're showing up. Excellent. All right, solar. So we are making the brand new solar cells. Uh, we need a, don't care if you're 50% full, uh, you're going to do the other solar cells. You're processing just now. All right. So you guys are going to do the other solar cells. You are literally processing any extra poly I have. In an ideal world, world, I shouldn't have any extra poly. And you are prioritized to run to both these guys. Like I said, they need three apiece. We're making six and six, which means six of it is applied to these guys. But when I upgrade them to my, uh, microchip machine level twos, they'll use twice as much. Uh, the other thing I can do is very quickly is I can, don't care how the belt goes. Oh, then why don't it fit anyway? Uh, pipe three, that'll do. Uh, into there, and into there, and just spit the whole, however much we have in storage, 360 uh, into that balancer, which should end up going off to solar panels anyway. Uh, where are we up to? Uh, well, that didn't plug in. That's glass. Try again. Okay, so you remove products. Uh, you're fine. You are not fine. Uh, you are not fine, and you are still not fine. You're not fine. You're not fine, and you're not fine, and no, remove products. Okay, so 
with plastic at least being delivered uh you guys should be good to go we need one and a half each which is one and a half three six yeah three six twelve so I, I need bless all plastic i need bless all copper so i should be able to take off this belt if it's not enough uh and i can always double check i can just upgrade a couple of belts prior to same goes for the copper gold is a dedicated belt so gold should be fine you are fine you just need to be cleared you need to be cleared you just got cleared uh remove products again yeah we have crap stuck in the connectors but we have microchips up and running next episode next episode definitely uh we will look at finally well rearranging and rebuilding our electronics three production also hopefully we can get some solar panels cranked out in the meantime which means we can do something about power because although it looks like i have a lot of power i really don't i really really don't uh that's for the gold oh uh, yeah remove and remove and remove and that one's fine yep all right well with all that said i'm going to end this episode here um i'm going to leave the trucks to hopefully clean up the last of jd's previous mistakes otherwise i'll start rebuilding some belts and i will see you guys in the next episode with hopefully a whole bunch of solar panels and maybe maybe we're gonna have to put down another nuclear reactor it's, it's entirely possible oh oh the other thing is i think i'm gonna need more quartz if we're gonna have this running which means i need to send the ship out to go and grab the quartz mine also probably the next uranium mine and maybe a couple of other mines around the place uh, which of course means i need more people if i have more people i need to turn on the grand poop machine because it's almost maxed out uh and our teraflops are maxed out that's all right we have all the stuff in the world we'll just build some more all right that's it going here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys in the very next episode all right bye